Hello, in this video, we will be looking at the new media player that you've got with Chrome OS 97. Chrome OS 97 has only just been released, so it will depend on whether your Chromebook has been updated to the latest operating system. If you haven't, just check to do that. You just go to settings, go to about Chrome OS, and you'll see there that it's got version 97. If you're on a lower version than that, do a check for update and see if it's there. If not, I'm sure your Chromebook will get an update shortly. However, one of my Chromebooks hasn't for a while, but I'm gonna do a separate video on that, so I won't go into that on this video. However, on this video, what we will be looking at is the media player for the Chromebook now with OS 97. So what I will do is, now if you remember the old media player, the old media player was very small and you didn't really see much on there so it, it is an improvement um, so I'll open up files and I go to downloads and I got some music that I could play without having any copyright issues and I put them in this music folder here and then what you'll see is if you open one up that's your new media player now the strange thing is when I first opened it up today it was in full view like that and I thought, I wonder if I could change it so the default is that it isn't always in free view as I opened it. And I changed it to this method here that you can see. But the strange thing is now I can't change that. So let me just show you. If I go to that, that's the where it's defaulted to. So if I move that to there, for example, and then closed it and saw if it defaults to there, Oh, it has done then. Very hit and miss because it didn't do that for me earlier. So I don't know what makes it decide that it's going to change to a default. Let's try it again. If we put it into maximum mode like that, close it. Let's try. I bet it's going to work now. <laughs> it's working now. But I, 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 I did have an issue earlier where it didn't. So it looks like you can set it as the default you'd like. So the standard one is this here, which you can see in front of you. Now up the top here, it's got no plane. You can use that arrow key there and it will get rid of that and just put on the full picture. Obviously, if you're using, if you're playing a song or an album and there's album image, you will see the image here rather than what you're getting here, which is a default, which is good. You never got that with the old one. You just got a very small image at the top. So that's good to see. Um, and it's got there what's playing. It's got a little equalizer there. You can pause there if you want to, and you can obviously press play there. Here, you've got some settings. If you click on them and put more details, it will tell you more details about the file that's playing. Again, if, you, if it's an album that you've purchased, you may see that information, but here, it's just showing me that it's an MPEG file, the size, the date modified, and the duration. Here, you've got the mute key down here, so you can press mute which is good, and you've got a volume control here. Now this volume control here is separate to your system volume control. Well, it should be, let's have a look. Should be separate, yeah. So you can see there, it's separate to that. So if you wanted it really high, you could put it high up there like that, but then bear in mind, that you would also need to turn your volume up as well. And that's good, that's like how you get with YouTube and most video players, they have, they have their own volume control, so you can change that volume control without changing your system volume control. If you want the, the, the loudest, then obviously you need to change both right up to the top. So if we just have a look at here, so we've got the volume, got the volume up and down. You can move across the track obviously, just drag and it would go to different parts of the track. You can also go right back by clicking that. And what I do like, I prefer these because if you're going like that to find a part of the song, it's okay. I prefer, or if you really, if you really like, if you listen to a song, you, you've got a part of the song you really like, you wanna hear that again. I prefer to use these. So that goes back 10 seconds. And if it's not gone back far enough, you can go back another 10 seconds and then you can skip 10 seconds. I just think that's a much easier way of getting to a part of a song you might want to listen to rather than doing that. So I like that, that's good. Here, there's a functionality of speeding it up. 
or slowing it down. I'm not sure why you'd want to do that, but as you can see, that's slowed down. You can tell it sounds quite strange. Put it on normal. That's normal. And you can do 1.2, speed it up a bit, 1.5, point more, two, speed it right up. So I'm not sure why you'd want that, but it's, it's fine that it's there, it's not a problem. So in relation to up here, you've got this here. None of this I would say licenses is just terms, conditional licenses, all that malarkey help um, just learn more but the open here is a good feature if you didn't open this through your file manager or it's been a while and you want to get back to where that file is located you can click up here click on open and it takes you to where that file is located so that's quite a good one as well um, you can minimize like that. Now again, this is another strange thing. When I minimized it earlier, now this might just be me, it minimized down here, but that seems to have disappeared now for some strange reason, I'm not too sure why. Um, you can minimize it like that, and then to open it back up, you just do that. Or you can also go to your settings. So if we just minimize that, go to your settings, and there's a controller here, and you've got pause and play and go forward track, back one track. There's an arrow down here. That arrow down does exactly the same as if you just click here. So no, no big changes there. But then if you can, you can click on there. So one thing I'm gonna show you as well, I was thinking it's a bit frustrating that it doesn't show you all of the media in the actual folder. Um, but then I thought, well, maybe you wouldn't want that because if, for example, we was in a, a large, we had lots of files in one folder, different music files, perhaps you wouldn't want all your different music files opening up. But you can, what you can do, I thought, well, what about if I create a folder just with music? And if you do that and click on the song like that, You'll obviously see that it doesn't, it just opens the one. But the, a way to get around it quite easily is just go to the folder where you've got all your music, just press Control A on your keyboard, and then don't double click to open because that will just open the one. So if you double click, that will just open the one. What you'd want to do is do Control A so they're all selected, and then just right click and at the top here, the default is open with gallery. If you haven't got that default, just go to this open with here and you'll see the options depending on what you've got installed on your Chromebook. So I've got YouTube Music, I've got VLC, and I've got gallery default. So open that now, so you've got them all selected. And then you'll see that it gives you a list of them. So that's quite good if you wanted to have more than one. And that would then make more sense of these controls here that you've got. So you can go forward one, go back one, whichever you like. And again, this makes more sense of down here as well, where you can skip from one to the next like that. So that is, I do actually like that because if you've got an album playing, instead of having to open this up again, it's got to open. Instead of opening it up again like that to change it, you can just go to your settings and you've got a few controls here, which is quite nice to see. In relation to um, the actual setting, like I said, you can either have it full screen like that, which is fine, or you can play about with it to get the setting you want. To play about with it, it's not really ideal that way because then you can't pull it up and down. Just go to one of the corners, so it's like that, and then you can choose the way you want it. So I quite liked it like that, because then you've got that there, your album cover, and then you've got all your songs that you've got down here, which you can play with. So it's good, it, 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 it is an improvement. It, it's dark, because as well, as you can see, whereas on the other one, it was more of a white sort of interface that you got, which I didn't really like, I think the dark, with music where it's all going, it looks nicer. Um, the album cover's nice. It's, 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 it's a good upgrade. I do like it. 
Um, yeah, so I hope you, you've liked the video showing you the new media player. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching.